Hey YouTubers, so today bringing you guys another one of my uh, janky videos. We're doing something a little different today. Um, I do different stuff on all my videos. I don't really try to stick to one particular thing. I guess when I find something I like doing more than anything else, I might do that. But anyway, um, <clears throat> real quick backstory on what we're doing today is I had a 2012 Ford Focus which I'm sure you guys have seen, if you watch my other videos, you see me do work on my Ford Focus. Uh, so I had a 2012 Ford Focus, and I got into an accident with it July 2nd. So um, it was a write-off. The insurance company on the 15th of July decided that it wasn't worth fixing the car, and so it was a total loss. And then um, my gap insurance decided that they were not going to fulfill their end of the bargain on a technicality so the short version of the story is that I'm stuck with a seven thousand dollar debt um, for the Ford Focus even though I no longer have the vehicle this happens this happens often uh, to a lot of people um, a lot of times you will have gap cover the difference and then sometimes you will not uh, so this is one of the situations where it is not being covered and so I'm responsible for the difference and I've had the finance company who I financed the car through uh, has been calling me for the past couple of months to try to get their money and so now I'm going to call them the reason why I'm recording this is because I would see people on uh, YouTube showing how you can reduce debt and how you can uh, fix your credit and how you can um, cut your debt in half and all this stuff like that you know and so it's really nice to tell it but it's even better to show it so what i'm going to do and this is complete cold calling like i have not talked to the finance company in a month and a half so this is complete cold calling i'm about to call them up and i'm going to negotiate down the debt that i have which i believe is something like seventy nine hundred dollars or something like that which i'm sure they'll tell me exactly how much it is on uh during the phone call um I have the paper somewhere around here telling me exactly how much it is, but I don't have it in front of me, so I'm not too worried about that. So, what we're about to do is I'm going to call the finance company and I'm neg going to negotiate down my debt. They called me this morning, so I just got to go back and I know exactly what the number looks like. Yeah, hi, my name is Trevor Haynes. Um, I have an account with you guys, and uh, so my account is delinquent. I haven't been making payments on it, and so I'm calling you guys now to uh, see what I can get taken care of with this. Okay, and repeat your personal It's Trevor Haynes. Yes. Uh, can I have a 
days past due when I had to ninety dollars to thirty one percent. Um and you're trying to see how you can catch up on the payments. Okay, so here's what, I don't know if you have this information in front of you or not, but the car was uh, in an accident the 2nd of July, and it was a total loss. The insurance company totaled it out, and then I, my gap insurance uh, is not going to pay the difference. They got me on a technicality, and so they decided they are not going to fulfill their end, and so I'm stuck with the balance. Uh, which shows here to be $7,477 and then some change. And I'm sure you guys have added on late fees and all that stuff to it. Alright, I see here the interest payment and a small refund from GAP for $452.64. So sorry here about the total loss of the vehicle. I do see that noted on the account already. Um, Oh uh, yeah, there is a deficiency balance of seven thousand four hundred twelve dollars and eighty six cents. Uh, you are able to negotiate that remaining balance, so you can settle for less than what it what is owed. So you can make the offer, and I can check to see if I'm able to submit it for the amount that you offer. If it gets approved from the day it gets approved, you'll have um, thirty days plus a ten day grace period to pay that off. Okay, so whatever you negotiate off, I will have uh, 30 days to pay that amount in full. Is that my understanding? Right, from the day it gets approved. Okay, well, I can tell you right now that there is no amount we can negotiate that I'm sure you would agree with that I would be able to come up with in 30 days. Now, I did have uh, the intention of negotiating a different amount from this 7400 and I was going to be uh, willing to do my best to have it paid off within 12 months if you guys were willing to not incur any interest on the new amount so if you're if you're willing to settle for the amount of four thousand eight hundred dollars I would be willing to make 12 monthly installments to pay that off in full. No, that's not how a settlement works. The settlement, you know, the most we can submit it for, if it's like that, uh, the 4800 is 60 days. 60 days? Plus the 10 day, plus the 10 day grace period. We can't do 12 months. No. Okay, well, hold, let me let me do a little math here, okay? I'm I'm okay at math. I'm not great at it, so give me a second here. Let me see where we are. Okay, yeah, I definitely would not be able to come up with that amount in sixty days. That's two months. If I had enough money to come up with $4,800 in two months, I would pay the car off a long time ago, okay? Um, that uh, is... What about $3,500 if we were to submit it for uh, $3,500? Here's what. If you do $3,500 and you're willing to push it back to about 90 days, I will do everything in my power to get that done. Yeah, we can't go more than 60 days. That's you can't do... Okay, well... Because well, this 30... Uh, settlement is 30 days. We can't do... Um, we've never done uh, 90 days. You, you can't do 90 days. I mean, I, I'm trying my best to get this paid off. I mean, because my only other option would be to file bankruptcy, which, I mean, that's $1,500. I can do that, you know. But I don't want to do that. I want to pay this debt off. I feel like it's the honorable thing to do since I did buy the vehicle from you guys. And uh, so, how close, how close would you be able to get to thirty five hundred? I mean, I can come up. I can come up with a thousand dollars a month. It's gonna be really hard on me, you know. I trust me. I don't have a thousand dollars laying around. You know, this is going to be a lot of overtime and a lot of stretching. On my part, I would be extremely over overstretched trying to come up with a thousand dollars a month. Okay, 
Okay, so this is not going to be easy for me by any stretch of the imagination. You know, that's why I'm telling you that, you know, I could do, I could try to do 90 days. You know, I can do whatever it takes and try to come up with the money in 90 days. But realistically, if I tell you 60 days, I'm going to be lying to you and I'm going to default on that. You know, I'm not going to overextend myself. How much would you be able to pay within 60 days? In 60 days, I could probably come up with about... 2400 you know that's $1,200 a month that is four times what I was paying in the, in the car payment you know that's that's a lot of money for me I don't make a whole lot of money that is a lot of money for me you don't have any family members or family friends that would be uh, willing to assist you with doing a settlement to close out the account I uh, I have no resources of that nature. No, I'm sorry. Um, my I have a, a father who is retired and on a fixed income, and my sisters, you know, they're doing the best they can in life right now. So I can't even think about asking them to uh, get into this situation with me. So you know, I, I'm I'm pretty much stuck doing this by myself. If you give me, if you give me if you give me about ninety days, I can do thirty six hundred. You know, because that's twelve hundred dollars. Okay, well if you wanna do if you wanna give them an offer for twenty four hundred because you know in all reality you guys have already gotten well over the principal from me just in interest because I've paid, you know, thirty months worth of payments at three hundred and thirty dollars a month. I've been making every single payment on time up until this happened. And a big part of the problem why I've fallen behind is because I use my car for work. And if I don't have a car, well, there's not a whole lot of working going on. But so you say um, we can try twenty four hundred. If you can, days? if you wanted to do, if you wanted to shoot for twenty four hundred and sixty days, I promise you that I will do everything in my power to come up with that extra twelve hundred dollars a month to pay this car off. Because I think that is a very fair deal, and in fact, if I had the twenty four hundred, I would give it to you up front. I believe that is a very fair deal. Okay, I can go ahead and try for the twenty four hundred. I just take three to five business days for management to get to it and approve it. See if it gets approved from the day it gets approved. That's when the sixty days would start. Um, okay. Yes, uh, if you if you oh. email the settlement letter to me, I would greatly appreciate that. And um, like I said, from 60 days from whenever I get the letter, I will work my best. You know, it'll probably be uh, bi-weekly installments, but I will try to get that 2400 taken care of in full within 60 days. Mm -hmm. But either way, you do have to uh, follow up with us because in case it does get approved and there's a, uh, an arrangement done on the account, we're not going to be able to... Uh, call you back. So follow up with us within three to five business days. Now, I do have to read a settlement script um, before moving forward with the settlement re your settlement request. I, th I need to inform you the following. Internal Revenue Service rules requires American credit acceptance. Reporting this account to the credit bureaus. Well, what they did for the credit bureaus of the settlement of this debt for less than the full amount owed which it may or may not have a negative impact on your credit report. The only thing that we will report is that the account was settled. It's up to your credit bureau to update that credit information. Um, now, American Credit Acceptance will retain any refunds from selling products unless the amount of the refund exceeds the amount of the debt being forgiven, such as, you know, gap or warranty. Um, if your settlement offer is approved by American Credit Acceptance, you will have a 30-day deadline uh, payment deadline, uh, which I'm submitting it for 60 days. 
If the payment is not received within the deadline, the offer will no longer be valid. Title and lien release may take up to 30 days to be released once the final payment is received. In your case, you would just get a letter in the mail. Okay. Okay? Saying that you paid a full year settlement offer. Now, I went ahead and uh, submitted that request. Did you want to go ahead and make a payment on the account to go towards the settlement if it gets approved? Um, I will wait until I get the settlement approval and then I will work on it from there okay. going forward. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. I'll go ahead and I'll take that on the account. Did you have any further questions or concern about the account? No, I do not. Okay. Thank you so much for calling American Credit Acceptance. You have a good day. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. I just got off the phone. Uh, with the finance company for my car and what we have agreed on is that my previous debt of seven thousand four hundred and seventy seven dollars uh, which is what was owed on the vehicle that's the balance that was owed on that focus um, has now been reduced to two thousand four hundred dollars which I have sixty days to pay off it's not going to be easy it's going to take me some effort but you know what? I would rather suffer through two months of extreme overtime and uh, budgeting to get this $2,400 paid off and have it removed from my credit than to spend the next couple of years trying to pay off $7,400 for a car I don't own. You know, because the faster I can get this taken care of and the faster it'll show up on my credit as um, the loan fulfilled is the better it's going to be for me and for my credit. So, you know, uh, take it for what it's worth. Uh, that's how you negotiate with uh, creditors. If you have, um, if you have the intention of paying off the bill, and you have the ability to pay anything on it, I would highly recommend that you call them and you pay as much as you possibly can to get it taken care of as quickly as you possibly can. Okay, that's it for the video.